Hey there. This is the fourth video now that I've made about Kanban boards in Obsidian. It all started out by just seeking a simple way of keeping track of my tasks and to-do lists with a Kanban board. Then it grew to putting coloured backgrounds on them so that it would improve the focus when they were appearing in a matrix on the screen. And now this last video is essentially seeking the best way to manage that on-screen situation and particularly where you might have more than four Kanban boards, you could have six, eight, 10, 20, whatever your heart's desire. So if you have a look at the screen here, what I've got is a blank canvas, uh, nothing happening there at all. This is set up in the workspace, which I covered in earlier videos. And I've also set up hotkeys to load the view of the Kanban board in a singular workspace. So that one is Alt-M, which I will activate now. And that brings up the matrix of the Kanban boards, as you can see. Now, those are all blank. I haven't got any to-do tasks or anything like that in it because it's really just for display purposes. What I've done is that I have actually set the view up and created this workspace where I've got all the Kanban boards down in the bottom screens. So you can see this is divided into four, but all of the Kanban boards that I have are down here. And if I had 10, then I would make sure that all 10 were loaded there. At the top, I would simply have my daily Kanban, which as I've mentioned previously, should be blank at the beginning of each day. And the other one is your main Kanban board where all of your tasks would be stored. So the point of this is that you can move between the boards and drag cards back and forth to the daily Kanban board or from the main across to the daily. If we put in here a task of read the book, and we've got that there, tender documents, we can drag that book that up here to the to-do, and we can also take that one up to the to-do, and they are both now in the daily Kanban board and out of the project ones. We will then move them across through the process move it to done if necessary, or move it back to the alternative board at the end of the day. And if that's the case, then that one would then go back to the uh, board from whence it came. If I'm working on my Kanban boards, I can then simply just go back to the blank board with Alt-B, and I'm back into my workspace. But you could set this up for anything at all. So it's a quick way of moving back and forth between your boards and your workspace where you're actually doing your notes in Obsidian to improve your workflow. Now, sometimes I actually outsmart myself, and this has certainly been one of those occasions. What I wanted to do is to dress up the process a little bit further and make the actual cards in the lists the same background colour as what the board was. And then when you dragged the card from one board to another, it would keep that colour so that you would know which board it had come from. So what I ended up doing was achieving that. So if you uh, have a look here, you can see that the uh, green background have got the green cards there and similar across each one. Test card, it also puts the yellow background same as the board. Now, unfortunately, I cannot get it to retain the color. So if I drag this card up here to the daily, it takes on the green color of the daily Kanban. Exploration is in the space of CSS indicate that I'm not going to be able to get that to happen by styling. It'll probably be a dynamic process that may well require another plugin. So this is available in the CSS template state. If you want the cards the same color as the background of the Kanban board, you can do that. If you want it happy to leave them just black, um, then you know by all means do that as well. So that's it. Now, in closing, because I think this will be the last one in the series of Kanban boards, I would like to stress that I am not an expert in productivity and organisation. In fact, probably the opposite. But these are just some things that appeal to me. If they appeal to you, then that's fine. But work out your own system that works for you. And by all means, check online and see if you can find some experts on running Kanban boards and multiple Kanban boards. They are certainly very well used within the Agile space and see if you can improve upon this system even further. 
So until next time, cheers. <laughs>